code, uh, this hero marketing area of our uh, website layout. Um, in previous versions of Bootstrap 1 and 2, this was referred to as a hero area, and a lot of times you'll see uh, this sort of large image area referred to as a hero area. Um, in Bootstrap's code in version 3, it is no longer called a hero area, it is called a jumbotron. Um, in Bootstrap, the jumbotron feature will give you some default styling. Um, I kind of like the default styling. It gives you a, a large area that has a rounded corners with a gray background, and I think that'll work well for our layout. We could have just used a standard div, um, but I think the Jumbotron component is going to work out well uh, for this sort of hero marketing area that we've got here. Um, so let's go back to our HTML code, and we're going to start a new row. Again, the class name for a row in Bootstrap is, surprisingly, row. I'm going to note that this is the end of my Jumbotron row, so I can keep everything straight. And inside this row, we're going to make a Jumbotron. So in Bootstrap, the class name is Jumbotron. It's kind of like those big screens you see at stadiums so that you can watch the action. Close your div, don't forget that. Give yourself a comment so you know which one is which. And in this Jumbotron, in order to make this work, we need to first set up a Jumbotron container, and then we will fill it with that marketing image that we had created. So I'm going to put a new div class container, and I will end it right before the close of my Jumbotron. And inside of it, let's put that image tag for our marketing image if I can stop typing commas. And let's go browse to the hero image. It's the one that I had called hero. Don't forget to put your alt tags on all of your images. These will give screen reader software for people with visual impairments uh, alternate direct uh, descriptions of your images. I'm going to say hero add describing the creative company. Now, if we would like this image to be responsive, um, if we would like it to uh, expand and contract with the different sizes of devices that we're dealing with, um, Bootstrap has some classes built in uh, that will automatically make our images responsive. So I'm going to add a class inside my image tag and the class is img-responsive. And that will automatically make this image uh, respond and resize based on the size of the device that it's being viewed in. There are a couple other image classes that are available in Bootstrap, and one of them will allow us to automatically put rounded corners onto our images. Um, if you look under the CSS tab in the documentation, um, here are the three different options we have. We have a rounded corner option, we have a circular option, and then we have what they're calling a thumbnail. I don't like the name thumbnail because the name thumbnail actually has some semantic meaning to it. You know, we typically think of a thumbnail as being a smaller version of an image. Well, that has nothing to do with the class thumbnail in Bootstrap. The class thumbnail, all it does is puts this gray border around your image with a very thin uh, white um, padding around it. Um, so it has nothing to do with the size of the image, it just has to do with the uh, display of the image. In Bootstrap 2 and earlier this was called the Polaroid style. Um, I'm not sure how they got away with that with Polaroid copyright, and maybe that's why they changed the name, but anyway. Um, I would like to use this rounded corner um, on my hero image, so we're going to use that img-rounded class on our image tag. You can apply multiple classes to an image by using a space separated list, so putting spaces in between uh, the different classes you want to use. So I'm going to grab that image rounded, and that will display my image with rounded corners. Of course, never trust Dreamweaver's preview. If you really want to see how this looks, pull it up in a real browser. So I'm going to save my page, and I'm going to pull this up in Chrome. And now you see we've got a jumbotron area, 
as demarcated with that sort of light gray background. And you can see that Bootstrap has very kindly uh, rounded off the corners of our image. While I'm looking at this layout, I'm thinking, you know, the way my navigation is displaying here, I don't like how it's butting up on the left-hand side of my logo. I would like it to move, you know, into some of this white space over here. Um, what we can do then is we can reconfigure the number of columns that this is taking up, and we can use a property called offset. Um, we can choose how many columns to offset. Um, if we recall, this was originally nine columns. I think this would split up well as six columns for navigation and three columns for offset. So let's take a look at how to add an offset for that navigation in Bootstrap. In our navigation column, we had originally set this up as a nine column uh, layout. So let's change this to a six column with a three column offset. So I'm going to change my col small nine to col small six. And inside that same class, within my class quotation marks, I'm going to add a space to apply a second class. And I'm going to do a col small offset, and we're going to offset it by three. So that's going to give us a total of nine, which is what we were going for because our navigation was nine columns total and the um, logo was three. So we still need to add up to 12, but that'll give us our six plus three plus three will equal nine. So let's save that and take a look at that in a browser. Ah, I like it much better. Um, we could probably offset one more column if we wanted to. Um, I'm not going to. I, I like where it's laying out. I kind of like the alignment with the edge of the sort of hero ad that we have going on here. So I think that's going to work a bit better for our navigation. In the next video, we'll start taking a look at how to build our content.